These five tools that I'm going to share with you are not complicated tools and they're not expensive tools, but they are almost legendary around here for their ability to solve a wide variety of problems or at least make serious problems better. Because problems happen in life. I mean, forces are unleashed and things fall down and cars run off the road and, and boats get beached and tree, you know, limbs fall down and pipes break and things happen. And you can't have every tool all the time. But I'm going to show you five tools that I th as I think about it, I think are among the most versatile multi-tools that you can have at your disposal when things go bad. So these five tools are in no particular order except for the last one, which is the undisputed king in terms of enabling someone to help at crunch time. So the first one I'm going to mention is a high lift jack. These things are useful, they're powerful, they're heavy, they're a little bit tricky to get used to, they have an element of danger associated with them, but if you need something really lifted a long ways or pushed out of the way or pulled out of the way, if you're stuck and really stuck and you need to get the back end of that car up in the air, this is the tool. If you don't have a come along, if you don't have a pulley and a line, but you have the ability to get this thing hooked on two opposing objects, it'll even pull them closer together. So I've got to put in this list of five tools, one of the tools that I've been really glad to have in the back of the truck on more than just one occasion. The next one is a tool that, frankly, I've got to say it, I consider myself an expert with. Now, I'm not an expert with all of these, but I'm an expert with this. It's a Burke bar. This thing is a pry bar. It's a sledgehammer. It'll jack up your car. It'll pry open a car door that's jammed shut. I think you could reorient Stonehenge with one of these things if you had to and you knew how to use it. As a matter of fact, so I, I'm in Arizona right now. I don't know if you can pick up on that, but about three months ago, about 250 feet from where I'm sitting, this very Burke bar got us out of a real jam. Nate was getting um, shipping containers delivered. They're heavy. They're 8,000 pounds. And there was an equipment malfunction that the owner operator of that truck had never run into before. Okay, so and that shipping container was bound. The equipment was bound, the dolly was bound, it was just locked up. And the fact that this thing was in the back of the truck solved the whole problem. I think that that young couple that delivers those shipping containers is probably carrying a Burke bar with them right now. Because if they ever get into that bind again, they're gonna know the only tool on the planet, short of a tow truck, that would solve the problem. The next tool is a hammer. Now everybody's got some kind of a hammer, or should, and so as I was debating which of the really wide range of hammers that I use all the time and that Nate has here in his shop I should use as iconic of the versatility of this tool. I mean, is that it? Yeah, probably not. Is that it? Well, no, because this one will do some things that this one won't. And so continuing to think about it, you know, maybe this, maybe the first tool, maybe an ax, is that? Yeah, probably, because I mean, both sides of it are useful. And then as I thought about it just a little longer, I got back to what for me is the answer. And I used one of these for 10 years exclusively framing because it will chop and it will function as a hammer. And so if you don't have a rig and axe, you don't have to run out and buy one. But in your, in your trouble, in your trouble uh, rectification setup, you've got to have some kind of a hammer. So the fourth item is a come along. And you know, this is, this is related, of course, to the high lift jack, and it uses leverage in the same way that a Burke bar uses leverage, but this is different. This will pull items together over quite a distance. It will hold things together. It will hold things down. It will lift so something can be loaded. It will put tension on something and hold it permanently. I mean, for years, this would resist weathering outside in the elements for years and remain just as strong as it was the time you initially tightened it up. It gives one guy the strength of 10 men over, I think there's 50 feet of line on here. I don't know, maybe, I don't know how many feet of line, but over the distance that is wrapped around that windlass, it enables one man to work as hard as 10. It doesn't weigh much. You can put it in a toolbox. Like all the rest of these tools, it doesn't cost much, relatively speaking, and anybody can learn to operate it. If you've got to pull a car out of a snowbank, if you've got to pull a tree off of a building, or if you've got to, I mean, fill in the blank, you've got a four-wheeler that's over the edge, or you've got a horse that, okay, can I admit to you, I've used one of these to pull a recalcitrant horse into a trailer. 
Now, I don't advise that, and I was careful, but there's all sorts of things you can do with this that nobody's going to get done if somebody doesn't have a come along. These can be dangerous if you use them improperly or for the wrong reason. So get familiar with it, and I have a video out that will help you get familiar with it. So before you stow it away and put a check mark in the box that says, got it, make sure you know how to use it before crunch time shows up. This is a pretty, pretty heavy little collection, isn't it? I mean, you don't just pick these up and run away with it. But the last one, the king of problem-solving problem tools, is not that. It's not that heavy. You've got no excuse for not having one in every car. Have one on your dirt bike. Have one in your camping box and in your hunting box. You ought to have one in the house and, I mean, they're easy to take along with you. This last tool, I think, I will assert, is the most universally available and applicable problem-solving tool ever invented. It has, without a doubt, solved hundreds of thousands of problems and I will say without a doubt saved some number of lives, not a small number of lives. It's helped me out in more times than I can tell you. If you haven't figured it out yet, I'm talking about a pocket multi-tool. And let's be honest, I'm talking about Leatherman. I've lost probably five of these. I've broken a couple. They replaced them. They did not sponsor this video. They don't need to. I'll be bragging about these tools till I die. Now, if you have another multi-tool, good on you. I mean, there are plenty of other brands, Gerber and on and on and on, and they will all get you out of trouble. One thing I would tell you is, you know, if you buy a cheap one, and you certainly can, just remember that you're counting on that thing to do something important when something important has to be done. So think hard about cutting a corner here. Whatever the brand, wherever you buy it, whatever you pay, you gotta have a multi-tool if you're gonna be the guy that solves the problem that absolutely has to be taken care of right now. As you figured out, if you've watched the channel or you've recognized if you've watched this video up till now, I love tools. I love all kinds of tools. And the reasons I love tools are complex, but one of them is because tools enable me and they will enable you to help people. Because I can tell you there have been plenty of times that people have done things for me that lifted my burdens. And most of the time, if it wasn't just good advice, which is also important, it involved the use of a tool or tools or equipment or supplies that they had that I needed. And there's nothing like that feeling of being helped in that way and that the only thing that's better than that is the feeling of being able to help in that way. So if you haven't experienced that yet, start looking for those chances. Keep some tools close to hand. So when you're driving down the road and you see that person that needs help and you know it's the right thing to do, you can do it. And I will assert that the more of us recognize that wonderful feeling of satisfaction of engaging with people, even strangers, to solve their problems, the better our lives will all become. Thousands of you have used tools to solve problems for yourself or for others. Those stories are interesting to all of us. So if you've got a story about how a tool that you had on hand at a critical moment made a huge difference for you or the people around you, send it in, put it in the comments. We would all love to read it. Thanks for watching.